guys, we are down here at Nelson Golf Course practice area. It's time to do some practice anyway. It is. Um, we've sort of, sort of neglected putting practice in. Our I, practice is going to the course and playing, yeah. whereas it should be coming to the practice ground and grooving some stuff properly. Yeah, so when we're playing around, we're both getting really annoyed and it's kind of doing our head in. It is a bit, isn't it? Yeah, so we've identified some weak parts of our game. One of them for me is being my short pitches, playing off feel. I've lost my touch, hit them terrible. And my short game has gone rubbish. You used to be really good at chipping and now you're terrible. Now so I'm you terrible. Need to put some yeah. in and get that confidence back. So I'm going to start working on that for a little bit. And what's your bad part? Okay, so the bad parts of my game at the moment are, I would say, pitching. So anything from 30 yards to about 100 yards, I'm just not getting close enough. Or even not even on the green, which is terrible. Um, and putting. Sometimes I put awesome and sometimes I put terribly. Yeah. So I need to work on something to get some consistent putting. Yeah, so we're going to start by adding some short pitches and then we'll move up to the green. We do have a few drills that we've uh, learnt off other YouTubers such as Peter Finch and Rick Shields. So we'll be sharing some of them. You've probably already seen them. So hopefully that will improve because if you don't follow us on Facebook and Twitter, you might not know that our handicaps have come down. Considerably. Considerably. So Peter got down to 10.3, I yeah. got down to 9.8. And the thing is, we just need that one more good round, and it's and then we've done it. We've got the single figures. Yeah, but because of these weak parts in our game, we just can't do it. Since I dropped to ten point three, I've been playing awful. I'm now up to ten point eight. Yeah, ten point so, seven, ten point eight. Yeah, so for like a month, it's been it's not been good enough. Crap. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah, we'll go start hitting some balls. Let's do it properly. Let's do some proper proper practice. practice. All right, guys. So this is the flag we're going to hit to. It's sixty yards away into wind. It's the, the yardage I've got to work on, really. I think I'm me as well. Yeah, I'm Pete. And the grass we're playing on is slightly rough, so that like is... Semi, I guess. Yeah, that is one of our big weaknesses, is playing from this. Yeah. We tend to either duff them and go nowhere, or under them. I would say that our accuracy is just not good enough. It's okay, but it's just not good enough, so yeah. that's why we need to put this, this practice in. Yeah, at least while we're filming this, we'll see. We might spot some reasons why we're not hitting the ball, where we should be. Might be a swing fault, so we'll find out. So we're in, 60 yards into it, and I'm going to go with a lob wedge. That's what I will go with, I think. And probably a half decent swing, maybe three quarters. What would you say? Yeah, I'd go for a three quarter swing. Fat. Short. Short because it was fat. So hopefully we can see why. Yeah. You can tell me why if you want it. Right. I might slow that one down yeah. when we're editing and you tend to fall into the shot with your body. What do you mean? You're not staying still, you're falling into your shot. So instead of being there and going through? Yeah. Going like you're going forward that way, forwards. Forwards, oh, yeah. right, okay. okay. So, guys, Pete's been hitting quite a few balls. He's just changed his sandwich you now so he can. Uh, Hit a bit more controlled because he's a uh, spread. He's got a few on. That's a good, look, good shot. <laughs> yeah, his spread's a bit inconsistent. So let's have a closer look and see where they're landing. Shot. Yeah, so I think he's just learned. Yeah, I think he's just learned that clubbing up gives him a bit more control. So he's not having to hit it as hard, and they are a lot more straighter. Yep, another great shot. So that's an improvement. Hey Pete, so I noticed that your shots got a bit more accurate when you clubbed up and you weren't swinging as fast. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so that was 60 yards into wind. I was using a lob wedge, which was almost a full shot. I guess more like three quarters, 
80% something like that um, and I found that quite difficult so you can see my spread was everywhere um, as soon as I changed to 56 my sandwich became a half shot and as long as I kept myself stable hit a nice half shot it was a lot easier to judge and my, my spread was a lot more consistent then so I think I've learned something from this already good good so I mean good start yep let's keep going let's keep going yeah I'm gonna have a do I'm gonna go lob wedge start off lob wedge same as Pete yeah so I don't know what to say now let's keep doing it am I? <laughs> The best one so far, though. Yeah, sandwich goes 100 and 100, between 100 and 110. Well, 60 yards. Yeah, that's the only thing that's big now. Yeah, that looks good. One. He's dialed in now. Right, so guys, you've seen the size of this practice ground, and I kind of had to move out of the way because some guys stood behind me and told me I was in the way. So, no bad. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I started from a lob wedge just at Pete, changed to my sand wedge. It was into wind, only 60 yards, but it was so much easier to control and get. Be more accurate and get the distance correct. Some went a bit big because I just swung full. But yeah, I think I'll do that from now on. Use my sandwich. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do exactly the same. Yeah. So 60 yards or there or thereabouts is like half a sandwich. Yeah, it's easier. You don't have to swing as hard. It's so much easier. So we've come to another part of my weaknesses. We've gone to 30 yards, half the distance. It's only short. It shouldn't be hard, but for some reason, I keep buffing them. What are you thinking? What's your immediate thought? 30 yards. What are you gonna take? Normally on the course it depends on what you're going over. What I'm going over. What, if, am I going over fairway? Have I got a lot of green to wear away from going over a bunker? Right, well about? you're in semi rough and you can just roll up or there's nothing in the way. If I went from semi rough I'd go with my sandwich. That's what I do as well, so that's yeah. what I'm gonna start with. Sandwich. Lob wedge, you don't need to use a lob wedge. You get more chance of going under it as well that way. Yeah. So we'll do some 30 yard shots with sandwich. I don't think I'm that weak at this. I think I'm okay at this, but I guess we'll see what we <laughs> Yes. Yeah, let's have a look at how you swing at it. I'm just trying to think what I'd do. I think I'd do centre of my stance because there's nothing in the way. I'm not trying to roll it, so I'm not going to put it at the back of my stance. Put it centre of my stance, I reckon. Nice and, nice and rigid, like a chip. That's what I think. Let's have the first one away and see what happens. Yep, good. Let's get up there and have a look. Oh, this is pretty good. Easy to need to. It is rough round here still, so it's not going to get the roll out really. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think it went for me. So basically, I didn't think that was particularly a weak part of my game. Um, and it wasn't. They were all fairly close. They'd been on the green, been in with a chance. I think that was the right shot. So let's see what Wayne can do. So, until recently, my short game used to be really, really good. It did. Then I stole your powers. It did, but I got made aware that my shoulders were open to target. So since I've learned that, I've struggled a bit. So that could be one of the reasons why I'm not as good as it used to be. Tending to pulling them a bit, and I think that is because of your shoulders. So I'll step up again. Well, I'm trying to make sure my shoulders are square. Alright, shoulders are square. 
Yeah, that's that's a lovely square shot. Yeah, it feels like I'm aiming over there now. Yeah, you know, that was perfectly square. Yeah, that's much better. It's in who? Yeah, it feels like I'm going miles away from target, but I'm not. It's because of your feet. Because your feet are open, which is what you're supposed to have. So yeah. it's like an open stance and a square shoulders. shoulders. Yeah, much better. Yeah. You're actually um, drawing your last ones. You're getting a little draw on them, whereas now you're getting them straight. So you must have been swinging a bit strange because of your shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, good shot. Can I get down there? Yeah, let's have a look at our spread. Have a look. So quite a few short. But fairly decent. That was good. Very nice. Another good one. Great stuff. So that square shoulder seems to make made a difference here. It does, it does. It feels like I'm aiming so far right though. Yeah. But you can see where the ball flight is, it's great. No, I think one of the, if I do that, one of the mistakes I'm gonna do is if I set myself up to the ball and then look at my line. Because then that way I'm guaranteed to be missing left. Yeah, yeah. I've got to walk into it. You gotta walk into it properly. Have yeah. a target. Walk into it, otherwise, yeah. See, now it feels like I'm over there. But so, what are we going to do now? So, there's a now we're going to carry on doing this for another half an hour or so. Ingrain um, it. Ingrain it a little bit, yeah. Good. Yeah, I feel a bit more confident now. I didn't think I could do it like off course half an hour ago. Great. Yeah. So, it's been beneficial already. It has. Right, so we just finished our, what, half an hour practicing chipping those 30 yarders. Yeah. And uh, I feel quite confident. What about you? I do now. Feel much better? Yeah. Excellent. So that practice has proved worthwhile. Let's yeah. see what happens when we get to the course, because you've you've been struggling a little bit with your yeah. chipping. One of the things we've been practicing on then, instead of just, we don't just use one club, one ball position. We'll experiment, try a different club, different ball position, see what results we get. That's right, yeah. Yeah, what we feel is going to work out on the course. Yeah, we tried a few uh, a few lob wedges with different ball positions just to see yeah. if we're over a bunker and things like that, if we, what we've got to do to get near the, near the pit. Yeah, on the course I tend to use three cl three clubs, a lob wedge, sand wedge and a pitching wedge. Yeah. So a pitching wedge will come in for those long chipping runs. So. I tend to use my sand wedge more than anything else and then my lob wedge if I have to, to get yeah. over something. Yeah. Um, I did start using my pitching wedge for a while but then stopped. Don't know why, but I just feel confident with my sand wedge now. So. Yeah. It's all about that confidence. So we're doing some more practice vlogs coming up. A lot of around the green stuff. Yeah, we need to work on that yeah. a lot and that's how we're going to get there. Yeah, so we're we'll so yeah. close to get to single figures. So close. So close. Yeah, so this is where the other YouTube videos will help us, the drills especially. Yeah, we yeah. need some putting drills and things like that, don't we? Yeah, so yeah, there's a couple I do like from Peter Finch that we will show you if you come back and uh, watch the vlog. Absolutely. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, give us some more ideas as well if you want by commenting below. Yeah. Help and, us out, uh, help us out, we can help you out. That's how it works. That's how it works. So join us next time where we'll try and do some more stuff. Yep, thanks for watching. Bye.